vacuum comparison with my Sapphire 370 truck mount uh, compared to the Air Hog. Um, so just to show you, obviously there is a gauge on the truck mount here for measuring the vacuum, um, but I also have a gauge here and I'm just going to show you how they compare to make sure that they're calibrated correctly because then after we do it here, then we're going to go to the other room and we're going to show you on 200 feet of hose, uh, 2 inch hose on the Air Hog. So I'm going to start this up. So as you can see there, um, it, we went up to about 12, 12 and a half uh, inches of mercury, which will we'll also convert. Actually, I actually have my calculator right here. So if we went for 12 to 12 and a half, let's see, 12 inches converts to 163.15. If, if we went to 12 and a half, that converts to 169 inches of lift. So now we're going to go over into our showroom that's uh, in the process of construction and we're going to show you how it compares to the air hug. Showroom, uh, don't mind the mess, we're in the process of doing some construction, but anyway, it's a great space to show the hose that's laid out. Here we're going to measure the lift of the air hog, which is a dual LX vacuum system, same as electric truck mount. Uh, but this is just vacuum and pump out to push the water out of the machine. Uh, so we're going to start it to show you the lift compared to the truck mount that we did in the other room. We're going to start it here on the machine, then we're going to go to 50 feet, 100 feet, 150 feet, and then end it with 200 feet. Um, and then after that, we'll chat a little bit more about the setup. Uh, basically, what, you, what we have here can perform the same as my, uh, my guest part, Sapphire truck mount. So uh, let's turn it on here. right to the machine. Uh, so now we're going to put in our pickle filter, just in case there's any junk in the hose. I'm going to turn it on and then we're going to go out to 50, 100, 150, and then 200. So a lot of suction behind this bad boy. I'm gonna pull up my calculator here. You notice right at the machine, we're just over 12. At 50 feet, we're right about 12. Um, at 100 feet, we still hovered right at about 12. Um, but then when we got to 150 feet, it came down to about 11, I believe is what it was. And then once we got to 200 feet, it came down to about 10. So just to show you the difference here, if we're going 12, um, that's 163 inches of lift. If we go to 11, and if we go to 10, that's 135 inches of lift. So you notice that at 100 feet, it's basically the same strength and lift as it is right at the machine. 150 feet, it comes down just a tad, but there's still no problem you know, cleaning at 150 feet. You can go 200 feet, but you may have to move a little bit slower. Do 
a few extra dry strokes, whatever. But uh, my personal suggestion, I would say, if you're using your home, anywhere up to 100, 100 feet is going to be amazing. If you go to 150 feet, you're still going to have really good power. And if you come to 200 feet, it's still manageable. Um, so a lot of guys have been asking me lately about the air hog water hog combo. I don't have any water hogs in stock right now, but this is the water hogger, which is really the same thing as the water hog. It just doesn't have a tank. So this is just the pump. If you get a water hog, you'll have a pump and a tank. I believe it's a four gallon tank. So between these two units, you can get up to 1200 PSI. Um, you have the suction of a truck mount, and then you just have three cords. Both cords in this machine are 15 amp, and then this, I believe, is 12 amp. I don't have to double check that. Well, this pump on its own is, uh, I think, 6 amps, but if you have a water hog, I think it's uh, 12, 12 amps, so I have to double check. But anyway, to connect the two, I mean, that, that will just connect right to your one, of course, the vacuum hose. Um, whether you have the water outer or the uh, water hog, you can connect the garden hose to your inlet. Um, right here I have a quick connect, and then you just connect the water hose to that, and I have a quick connect, and that'll go right on there. If you get the water hog, it comes factory with a quarter inch quick connect on the back side. So you can either connect a solution line directly to that uh, from a source, or you can make just an adapter like this. I just got a couple fittings from Home Depot, and then uh, three eighths for this machine, or you can use quarter inch uh, quick connect, that way you can connect your water hose. Uh, and then of course you have your solution line, So you'll just connect that here, and that goes to your wand, and I've got 12, up to 1200 PSI, down to 50 PSI uh, with this machine. The only thing you're missing is heat, but you can get a money hot turbo as an electric heater, um, or you can add a little giant propane heater, one of the two, either way you're going to have some heat. Uh, of course, with electric heater, the hotter comes in, the hotter it goes out, the colder it comes in, it's still going to come out warm, but it may not necessarily be steaming hot, however, if you have a little giant propane system, you can have nice cold water coming in and very, very hot water coming out. So, uh, truck mount, the fraction of the cost, all of it is mobile. You can put a little giant on a cart. Uh, you can wheel this in. This machine here weighs 40 pounds. Um, this right here weighs uh, 43 pounds. And if you get the water hog, that weighs 50 pounds. So, very easy to pick up and carry, very mobile. You can put it right in your van, your trailer, or bring it inside of them. Uh, if you have any questions, give me a shout. Dave from Clean Pro Supply, 585 426 9507. Thank you.